What's up guys, it's the mod 66 back with another ESO noob tutorial and today I'm going to be showing you how to get your blacksmithing from level 1 to 50 in I'd say around 4 hours if you stuck it out and you did the grind but uh, one thing, a word of caution is uh, you don't want to be I won't say glitching but <coughs> spamming your blacksmithing all the way to 50 if this is your main character because well you can do it if it's your main character and you are above CP 150 because how the blacksmithing works in ESO is the more that you train it up and the higher level you get you will make armor for that specific level like it's not like um, Skyrim or Oblivion or Morrowind where you can make glitch your blacksmithing skill all the way up to the highest rank and then just wear the best armor and just boss your way through the game. It levels you up as you progress. So you're making armor for your current level. So if this is your main character, just play the game as you would level up normally. And then use this method to get your blacksmithing up to that level that you are. If, if it's not already caught up, which it, pretty sh it should do. It did do on my main character. But if this is a second character that you're wanting to use just for blacksmithing and you want to just spam shit out of it, get all the highest level gear, then by all means, do this method. But anyway guys, into the video. As soon as you start, you can come to this area. If you just keep going to the, uh, the navigators at the ship ports, and you just keep going to different areas. If you go to the area called Bankerai, um, it, it'll fetch this area called Evermore which is where we are now. We're at the bottom of Evermore. We're behind the bank. That's the place we need to go to. But if you go to the shipwrights, keep asking to travel to different places and you will eventually get to Bankerai and this is the first place that will fetch you. So when you get to Evermore, you're going to want to come to the bottom part of the map. Deposit everything that you've got in your bank because you will need every inventory slot available that you've got. Like this is a new character that I had to create. So I've only got 60 slots. I did plan on doing it with my main character, so you could see him hitting level 50. But little did I know it that I asked for some uh, intricate items off some guild members, and I dismantled them all, and that did actually get to blacksmithing 50. So I made this character, and I'll be showing you from blacksmithing level one. If uh, if you're just going for the blacksmithing rank, ignore all these barrels and stuff. But this is a good place to get. Provisioning materials and also items that you can sell to uh, a fence. I if forgot to have the Thieves Guild part, I have, so I could do the fence in the Thieves Guild. But anyway, this is just for the blacksmithing. So basically, once you've run around this whole area, stole every um, sword and mace and maul that you can get. You just want to log out, and then log straight back in. It'll remember exactly where you are, obviously and all the items will have respawned. So you're just going to keep doing this, keep moving around all the areas until your inventory is full. One thing to note is that if you've not got the ESO Plus craft bag, make sure that you leave at least four spaces free in your inventory, so that way it will collect all the ingots and uh, honing stones and stuff like that. But if you have got ESO Plus in the craft bag, just keep going until it says inventory full. And, uh, you want to go straight to the the forging area, which you'll see I think after this run. My inventory is full. It's just to the side. If you go across the road from the bank, you can jump over a wall, which you'll see. And you can de deconstruct all your items there, so I'll catch up to you once we're down at the bottom.
Right guys, as you can see, we're down at the blacksmithing station. And all that stuff that you've just stolen, you're just going to want to deconstruct. And you'll see how quickly the, uh, the level will go up. Now obviously, if you've uh, paid for the backpack upgrade, then uh, you'll be able to hold up more items. I've got 90 on my main, I think. That's not full. That's about half, I think the maximum is 130. So you will be able to cover full level on the blacksmithing after... I think it's two or three visits to the blacksmithing station, which doesn't take long as you can see. That run only took me like, I think, four minutes. But the thing I was getting at before, whereas you don't want to glitch all the way to level 50 if you're a lower level, because this character is only level six, I think. Yeah, this character is only level six. So you can only wear iron armor for the next like eight levels. Whereas if I did this method to get to level 50, I'd be unlocking the rubidite armor, which means everything that I'd come across would be rubidite, which it, it'd be no use to me, completely useless. So just keep going with this, or if you if you're progressing and you realise that you're at like level. 26, but your blacksmithing only allows you to create armor up to level 20. Then do this method until it'll boost up to that in no time. But if this is your first character, like I said, just just play the game as you normally would. Pick up everything, even if you're not going to use it, just to dismantle. So yeah, guys, I've given you the word of warning, but this is your game. This is your time, real. You choose how you want to play it. But that's just my advice. When I first started doing this, I thought I'd be able to just get the best gear. And I ended up like 24 levels in front, if I remember right. And it were a pain, because I just said to ask people to craft me armour and shit. But like I said, if it's your second character and you're doing this just to... Because you could glitch all the way up to up to um, level 50 just to get the rubidite or uh, ingots, sorry. Because they sell all day every day for like 7k a stack so you could get a stack in no time and sell up 7k for a bit low on gold but this has been uh, today's ESO new tutorial if you're liking the videos or if this is your first video for ESO that you've seen don't forget to watch my other videos as well the support reel does mean a lot to me and uh, if it's helped you out guys don't forget to drop a like and subscribe as always, I've been the Mod Father 66, and I'll see you all on the next video.